Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Yep. So just <clears throat> give a few minutes for people to join. Uh, my name is Nick Hodgkinson, and I'm the sales and marketing manager for AkuShaper. Uh, we're based out of Kailua, Hawaii, and we have a shop in San Diego as well as our machine manufacturer in Australia. So, just waiting to see if anybody joins in. <clears throat> Today I was just going to walk through um, some of the basic functions of the uh, AkuShaper software. Um, just kind of some of the basics. So, while well, I wait for some people to join, um, I'll just kind of hop right into it and show you what I'm working with. Um, so I'm in version 2.30 of the software. It's our latest version. Um, I'm working on a MacBook Pro today. And yeah, we're just going to move through some basics. So kind of starting from the beginning, um, once you get the software open, um, you know, you can start to play around with some files. <clears throat> if you wanted to search some of your own files, you know, use that Mac OS X native open option. Um, that's how you can get to those. But today, uh, I just wanted to walk through some of the basics and show everybody, you know, kind of what we're, what you can work with, you know, if you don't have any models already set up. So in version 2.30 of the software, um, if you go file new, you can view all of our stock boards in here. Um, and just pull a couple of them down real quick and look, you know, got kind of a thumbtail, a little bit of a squash-ish um, in that 6.2, which you could definitely <clears throat> kind of turn more into a squash. Um, we've got short boards, you know, just assorted short boards, different tail features. This one's definitely got like the hard squash tail in it. Um, some really good models in our new latest version of the software. We've got a board with wings in here. And yeah, um, <clears throat> so if you have any questions or anything, uh, if you drop them in the comments section, uh, should be able to pull that up and answer any questions anybody might have. Um, but yeah, just kind of running through it some more. You know, right now we're taking a look at some of the stock models. Um, that are version 2.30 of the software. Got some egg shapes, 7.6, um, you know, all the way up to <clears throat> the new version. We've got, you know, 12, 12 and a half foot paddle boards. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, yeah, so, um, you know, just going through some of the basic functions again. We'll just start at that short board. So, I've got my board here. You know, you've got your different nodes for adjustments. You can do those by hand, um, you can use the keyboard. <clears throat> Um, if you look on our Facebook page, I've, we've got a, a keyboard shortcut guide listed in there. So if you want to play around with some more of the keyboard shortcuts, um, like the A key will shift counterclockwise through the points. Um, but yeah, so that's, you know, that's kind of just, you know, once you get the board going. Um, <clears throat> but then once you, you know, get it open, you want to, you know, start to make some adjust adjustments here. Um, that's where you're going to go ahead and hit this pencil button at the bottom and punch those dimensions in. Um, you can do the straight line or over the curve. Straight line being, you know, tip to tail, uh, not adjusting for, you know, any, any rocker uh, length, which increases the length just a hair. Um, so I'll do it over curve. That, uh, that'll adjust it, you know, for the rocker. Um, we've also got these auto adjustment features in here, which are great for, you know, wanting to scale up or down, um, you know, kind of a proven model. So now you can see um, my new dimensions got saved. They got a, they got a little adjusted. Um, so I'm just gonna fix them again. Always good to kind of check that out in there. And yeah, let's keep pushing through. So that's kind of the, the gist there. Um, you've got all your, you know, dimensions here, tail rocker, nose rocker. Um, it also gives you the thickness, you know, at different points of the board. So that comes in handy when, you know, when you're trying to really get a dialed in shape and <clears throat> you need specific dimensions. 
Um, and then just here on the home page, uh, you know, some very important tools, you know, this add point tool, you know, if you wanted to maybe like think about throwing some wings in there, um, it's kind of how you would, oops. And then, you know, the back button there, that's always crucial. But that's how you could, you know, attempt to get a wing in a board. Um, if you wanted to, you know, <clears throat> make it a double winger, kind of, kind of same same principle here um, you know like so so obviously designing your own board you can probably take a look at that some more and then just kind of moving through some more functions um, the back forward button which is great for you know fixing little mistakes um, you can always throw this in different uh, nom nomenclatures here so yeah, um, it's kind of the basics, front page. Um, you know, I'd encourage you to play around with a lot of this, the show hide. Um, you know, there's a lot of different functions in here to play around with to kind of get a more precise shape. Sometimes I like to throw them all on and just kind of take a look at, <clears throat> you know, just the different features. So I'll keep this pretty short today. I'm just kind of moving through in the slices tab. Um, you know, this is where you, you know, you basically your rail manipulation. <clears throat> and so between these slices, uh, the board, the rail contours and the bottom contours will blend together. So, you know, if you were going to put like a double kind of type concave in here, it'll blend that double um, through the board. And a good way to check that is if you hold down the shift key and kind of uh, just pan through the board, if you can see that light gray line. Um, that's the board transitioning. So you can see there at center, it's nice and flat, and, and then it starts to bevel out into that double concave that I put in there until I get to that slice I'm at. And then as you see towards the tail, it gets a bit more flat <clears throat> again. But if I wanted to put a lot of double concave in this board, that's not the greatest concave, but um, you know, I'd go back and <clears throat> hold that shift key and you can see how the slices blend into each other to kind of get that double concave back to, you know, flat, single, headed towards the nose. Slices tab is uh, huge to play around in. Um, you can add more slices by, you know, hit it, going slices, add new. Um, and I'll just throw one in at like three and a, three and a half feet. So that, you know, pops it in there. Um, you know, if I wanted to make more adjustments, if I really wanted that double to go that high up, you know, that's kind of where you'd build that in there. And then, you know, beyond that, top and bottom, um, some of the best tools in here, this T-Rocker, N-Rocker, um, if you click on that and uh, just use the arrow keys, you can move the entire nose rocker down. Um, there's also, you know, kind of the older school way, which would be, you know, pull it down from the bottom, <clears throat> pull it down from the top, you know, make those adjustments to kind of get it, you know, back into that smooth kind of transition. So not too great on that. The nose rocker obviously came down. It's a pretty flat short board at this point, but uh, you can see how that works. And so this green tab here, I added that in the show hide. That was the center of mass. Um, so, you know, obviously, <clears throat> you know, my rocker begins slightly forward of that, but if I wanted it dead center mass, um, you know, I can use that tool to kind of make that adjustment. And then, you know, every board you design, <clears throat> you probably want to take in the bay. Um, in our last live video, I kind of took a look at a couple of different ways to view your board, but this is a great one, you know, kind of looking at it from, from the back, looking for a nice, smooth, continuous, kind of outline um, and then just different stuff in the bay <clears throat> you know if you want to you know view it from different angles you know nice to take a look at it you know here in the nose it looks a little flattened out so I might just go back and like that that's not really the way to do it right there you know I'd probably add another point in here um, but just you know for our own purposes today you can kind of see how it pulled it out a bit more full and yeah, a lot more stuff in here we'll be going over in more live videos. Um, we'll probably do like a whole thing on exploring the bay and, um, you know, the different features. So <clears throat> and then depending on what version you're on, um, if you want to kind of get into the machine parameters, uh, a 
you know, getting boards together, um, blank files. If you have questions about that, just shoot us an email and we can help get you dialed there. Um, but, you know, just kind of some more features. And then you may want to go in here and uh, save all this, <clears throat> which is great. Um, you know, when you go, when you're done, if you want to make a PDF file out of this, uh, all this information gets retained in the PDF file, so it's great for order processing and um, just sending stuff to your customers or, you know, there in your factory, depending on, you know, how, how you're set up. So that's um, kind of some of the basic functions of the software. Um, you know, if you have any questions, you know, email us, info at occushaper.com. Uh, we pretty much respond within 24 hours. And we'd be happy to help you, you know, get set up. Um, <clears throat> we do have small, short uh, you, uh, tutorials. You know, if you want to do like a one-on-one, -on -one, you know, feel free to shoot us an email. And we can set up a time with you to kind of walk, walk through some, you know, private tutorials. Um, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Again, info at akushaper.com. Uh, check out our YouTube channel. Uh, please post in the, uh, our, our Facebook group. It's a good place to drop your questions and get feedback from our community. And um, we'll see you next time on Facebook Live. Thanks for joining in.